So this is the Escapist Communicast, um, kind of like trial run thing. Um, we don't know what the hell we're doing yet, so this is just a practice. And uh, this isn't like a real first episode or anything like that. But, um, yeah, so I guess should introduce everybody. I'm Fappy. I'm that winking cat that um, everybody loves because I'm a cat. And Daystar, you want to? All right, I'll go. Fizz? Um, I'll I'll go. Um, I'm Fizz the Toaster. I'm the one with the uh, Siwin Bro Fist little gif. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> fucking the dog! Oh, fuck the dog! The dog! The dog! <laughs> that, that, that dog wasn't me. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm not um, so sure about that. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Anyway, um, the guy with the very coarse language is Psychic Taco 115. Um, I'm the guy with a lot of taco avatars because, come on, they're tacos. And I'm uh, I'm Daystar Clarion. Um, I'm the guy with the Okami avatar. If, if if you don't know what it is, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, well, I guess uh, all you need to know about us is our name and our avatar, obviously, because that's all there is to us on the internet. It's like uh, just personas, no real personalities at all. Though knowing our voices would probably help for this, I'd imagine. Yeah. So, Fappy's a guy who sounds really fucking sexy. That's all you need to know. And I'm just a token chick, so there you go. Yeah, that works. Um, I don't know what I sound like, so tell me, I guess. I get, I get the feeling I should be black as well, just to sort of fill out the ethnicity, but I, I, can, I'm, I, can, I can only be the British well, guy. I mean, from all the British crime <laughs> movies that I've seen, the black guys always have British accents anyway, so in voice, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference, really. Wait a minute, I always thought Daystar was like James Bond. Yes, yes, that's that's the best. Yeah, I am James Bond. Oh, fucking knew it. Not just you know, just telling it as it is. <laughs> I wish I was that cool. I'm gonna go kill myself now. I've been in all the movies. <laughs> Did we just cyber bully Fappy? Yes. Everybody cyber bullies Fappy. I know. I I got Everybody so much Fappy. hate mail when I changed my avatar. <laughs> was that? Fappy sucks. Why does he change his avatar? <laughs> No, seriously, there were people who were like, I hate you now. And then when I changed it to Mao again, you know, a different avatar, but it was still Mao, the same cat, some people were like, yeah, and then other people were like, oh, now you're cool again. And even one guy was like, this new avatar sucks. I want the old one. Where's the old fat we know and love and secretly have masturbation fantasies over? Oh, okay. how, how long is that in now? We're about four minutes in and we're on a masturbation jokes already. <laughs> Well, I mean, I like being Jim. <laughs> yep, it's so already. Classy. I fantasize about myself, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is fappy, so if if you've ever talked to him on the forums long enough, it's either going to be about dildos or whatever. So I actually, that's not too bad. I have not talked about dildos in quite a while. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, okay. I think <laughs> as as the English guy who just sexually prude, I think I need to we need to turn this down. <laughs> it's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh you! That's why we never worked out, Daystar. <laughs> just, yeah, it's just too English. <laughs> too English, and he was afraid of the banana game. He's too English for his tea. Uh, finish. Oh, I finished my tea. <laughs> There's no more tea. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Uh, what do you want to do with this podcast? Are we just gonna like? Should we just ramble about dildos every episode, or should we like actually talk about somewhat relevant things? I mean, as relevant as it's going to get to this community, anyway. Okay, okay. So, I don't well, think. I think we should probably get some like community involved. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. As interesting and sexy and as amazing as we all are, we can't fill up an hour podcast with just how awesome and sexy we are. So we need some sort of feedback from the community in regards to just. Emphasis on sexy. <laughs> <laughs> or sexy feedback. That'll work. Yes, send us in a porno. Nude pics. Like just, no, be in a porno and then like say your s- suggestions while you're actually doing it. Okay, I, can s- I see where this is going. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> you can send, send all nude pics submissions to Daystar via PM. 
make the subject line um, Okami turns me on. Yeah, don't don't do that. <laughs> wait, wait, okay, no wait. wait. No, he wants yes, to do I want you guys to do that. Reverse psychology. We don't know what that means. <laughs> exactly. Oh wait, was that sarcasm? No. <laughs> oh, the, Ameri the American <laughs> who doesn't understand sarcasm. <laughs> I never knew one such existed. I love sarcasm, but no. British sarcasm is just like... I don't even... There's not a word to describe it. I, I think there's a word to describe British sarcasm. It's, it's just, just sarcasm. <laughs> or British. Yeah. It's just like... Yeah, a, okay, there you go. It's, like, it's, like, it's British. It's, like it's distinctly British. It's like Brazil nuts. It's just like... In Brazil, they're just called nuts. <laughs> Actually, uh... I think what I probably love about British sarcasm is just a little story that goes along with the sarcasm. I think it's just great. Strangely enough, um, if you've ever heard of Vidalia onions, which are apparently the most famous onions in the world, and they're grown in the middle of buttfuck nowhere in South Georgia, I've been there before, the people there um, actually call them Vidalia onions, even though they're from Vidalia and they live in Vidalia. Well, they're obviously missing out on lots of opportunities just to say, that we just call them onions here. I know. Wasted. I'd tell them that, but they wouldn't understand. I tell, I tell them that they just wouldn't understand. <laughs> they're just just standing on a podium, going, "Guys, guys, these onions. You don't need to call them idea whatever you call them onions. <laughs> just say they're onions." We don't take no advice from a friggin' British person. Civil was, war, not a revolution, all that shit. That that was the most creative like way to say Vidalia I think I've ever heard. Most people mispronounce it as Vidalia, <laughs> but uh, that was just like you just switched out consonants. Like a bouse. <laughs> Actually, quite honestly, speaking of words of being misspoken, I think my personal favorite is Chipotle. Because we have, like, oh, Chipotle God, yeah. everything where I am. Chipotle. In Arizona. And so, like, I think my favorite was, uh, I think it was my favorite was this little old lady. She couldn't say it. And all of a sudden, she just says, yeah, I want the Chipotle mayo. I just cracked up <laughs> laughing. That, that sounds like hilarious. a breed of dog. Chip Chipotle. Oh, Can I have a Chipotle? I love my Chipotle. <laughs> I'm glad it doesn't exist. I probably want to strangle it. Technically, it could exist. It could be a mix between no, a, puppy can be it could be a chihuahua and a poodle. A chipoodle. <laughs> and when they have a baby, it'd be a shih tzu. Oh, yeah, one of those crossbreeds thing, yeah. Like a labradoodle. Oh, shih tzus. Like those weird little dogs. I don't remember what they're called. Rodents. Oh, and my other favorite is Vegeta. Instead of Vegeta. That's <laughs> can, have a, can I have a Vegeta? Or Vegeta. Please. Vegeta. <laughs> 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 that one is actually courtesy of my grandmother. She lives up north, and she was trying. We were at a Mexican restaurant. She goes, "Yeah, I just want a fajita with beef." And I'm like, "No, guys, guys, I need to." <laughs> you even see that? She was adamant about it too. She goes, "I need, I need to interrupt you. My, my fiance is licking Nutella well, off the a spoon. Was, it's, was... it's totally hot." <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Dude, seriously? Yeah, she's just sitting there licking the tether off a spoon. I think I think she's doing it on purpose. I think she's going, "Hey, hey, Daystar." That's what she calls me, by the way. I don't I don't actually have a name. She goes, "Hey, Daystar, I'm gonna I'm gonna be licking the tether off a spoon. Watch me." Well, I mean, my people in real life call me fa Fappy. My boss is, you know, it's not weird at all. Yeah, I, I don't use my name outside. People just call me. Alex. Oh. But that'll change, hopefully. But what about called... your internet name? So called boring! <laughs> God, I wanted to call you Taco, man. Come on. I have to call you Taco. Why do I want to call you Alex? Screw your birth name. Yeah. Don't worry. It used to be Ash before. Wait, well, wait, Ash is a great name. I, I believe you should have that name. Well, well it was more oh, of yes. a nickname when I was not born, I guess. In the, in the transition. Ashley is, is a man... Who's Ashley? Is Ashley a girl? It's, it's a manly name for manly men. <laughs> <laughs> we would have been one and the same. Don't you ever say that to me. <laughs> well, everybody well, knows that Ashley is a girl with a dog avatar. Hey, I've, I've met that chick. She's hot. <laughs> <laughs> what if there are any sexy pics online? <laughs> Yeah, just, oh, yeah. just, you know, just Google it. <laughs> Daystar picks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I'm not amused. <laughs> it's fucking uh, just a picture of Okami, or uh, fucking Amy, with like a bra on or something. Oh, oh god, oh god, no. 
Oh man, too bad it, it exists. Rule thirty-four. Yeah, that's furry t- Yeah, yeah, that's a uh, furry territory. I don't want to dive into that at all. D- no. So you guys want to talk about Sally wrong. Acorn? No, no. Okay, okay. We've got to we've got to get it back on topic. This is this is like this is what the fail cast is for. This is for the uh, this is for- abandoned thrones. <laughs> we have we have a topic. <laughs> this is not uh, what I we signed up for. <laughs> we signed up. <laughs> right. So you know we, we, we signed up for the sex jokes, but not the furry <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, God. Commitment. We weren't in it for this. All right. So besides all the furriness, uh, <laughs> what do we want to do with this series? Like, how do we want to get the community involved? Um, probably just talk about games and whatever is like the biggest thing on the like the biggest topic th- topic thing yeah. about games or whatever I would yeah imagine. be cool I mean you know I mean if there's any sort of I mean like um, so probably like I don't know something like the Mass Effect three being shipped with the Black Ops two yeah I mean and how they spun that how did that, 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 that even happen they're not even the same that, company it's... all right that that. That was apparently like the uh, whatever company they go through for shipping. I, I don't think it had anything to do with the publishers themselves because I don't see how that'd be possible if that were the case. I think I remember. Um, yeah, I think the Escapist uh, did a news article on it, and I think some guy from Bio was saying, obviously, um, the gods want you to be playing Mass Effect. And I think yeah, I noticed it's Mass Effect Two and not Mass Effect Three because there'd probably be uh, conflicting opinions on that one. Oh yeah. Well, apparently they turned oh, into a PR yeah, stunt. Oh, yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, I mean, what was it? The first, it was... Yeah, the first 50 people to uh, send in photographic evidence that they got that disc or something would uh, get the, the entire trilogy for free or something, which is, is kind of a cool move. I honestly, as soon as I read that article, the first thing I pictured was John Riccatello with, like, money signs over his eyes and, like, a big fucking grin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean that's not what he looks like in real life? Oh, low blow. Oh. Just because he's a CEO, it doesn't mean that. <laughs> know it. <laughs> yes, I mean you know, we, any any. I think we could answer any questions. Any questions. So, like, if you want to know what flavor Fappy's nipples are, we we could answer that question. Chocolate. I thought they were more like cinnamon. <laughs> so this is gonna be a plus eighteen shot. I'm liking this. I'm liking oh, this. Oh man, this is this isn't huh? even. Yeah. This is not yeah. even that yet. We're like <laughs> breaking the law. <laughs> we can make it that. Get Elaine, Elaine in here. <laughs> I'm. Th- <laughs> well, whoever was going to okay. send in that question, you were. That question is now answered. <laughs> yeah. So you're welcome. There are no more nipple. But yeah, just like send in like whatever you want us to talk about. Yeah, you know, I mean, we'll, this 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 will be with a thread. So I mean, I got special permission from Nazrin because, yeah, we need that. <laughs> Who, unfortunately, if we ever had on the show, nobody could see how cool her blue hair was because this is audio only. Oh, oh yeah. What's audio only? Oh shit! I've only just noticed that. Why am I? Why am I wearing a bra then? Well, I'm naked, so uh, you know. <laughs> just, just like I did. Not. I dare not say what <laughs> I am. Just in. like just just S and M gear. It's just, just a taco. It's in a taco head. <laughs> if I was an S and M gear, how could I talk? Just just riddle me that. That's all you need to know. I'm just not even gonna answer that question because I'll get in trouble. So <laughs> it just needs, just it needs to remain. There needs to be some remnants of classiness <laughs> in, the, in this here, and I think I think we, me, Taco, <laughs> and uh, Fappy can can live up to those expectations. I can share that our potential audience that will probably leave after the first episode due to the crudity that this will be the classiest podcast they'll ever listen to in their entire life. I guarantee it. We should just do one episode where... It'll be so classy, you have to buy... Yeah, we all wear top hats and a monocle and just just speak like me. (laughs) Exactly. Uh, but then we have to talk about stuff like the no, stock market. No, you talk about no. That's that's not what you do. That's not top hat talk. I don't know if I can do that. When you're wearing a top, you talk about the colonies. Yeah, exactly. You talk about the sub races. (laughs) Wait a minute. Yes. Can we talk yes, about we can do that. Australia? No one can argue with us because like the criminals. Australians don't have internet last time I checked. And if they do, it's really bad. <laughs> oh, there goes, there goes the best uh, part is a quarter of the view of the listening base. <laughs> well, I use AT&T, and let me just tell you that AT&T sucks ass. But I am always constantly reminded on the site that I have absolutely no room to complain because people in like Canada and the UK and Australia have like 
bricks in their phone lines or something, and it just sucks ass. Yeah, I, I mean, I've currently got a, a little <laughs> slave child shoveling coal into uh, into my steam powered internet at this moment in time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys are so behind the times. Come on, you got to upgrade to robot children. They're so much more. Nah, I, I prefer using orphans <laughs> myself. Very, uh, very. You, handy. you, you, and the orphans. You got you to get over that. I'm a proud orphan hater. One day, one day there won't be any orphans <laughs> left. And what will you do? I will make the world anew. Make more. Or go into The Sims, I guess. That could work, too. I mean, you could always just kill everybody's parents, and then you just make a bunch of orphans. <laughs> this is going to be some, like, syndrome shit where when everyone's an orphan, nobody is. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's why I have an evil league. See, they help me do all the killing, and yeah. When was the, when was the last time the, the Injustice League killed anybody? Don't turn around. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you guys are really bad at being evil. Whoa, man. Whoa. 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 Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, shit just got real. <laughs> Did you say that on the internet? It's on. My man. So anyway, um, <laughs> um, so we, you know, we, we want the community, obviously, to, like, contribute, like, you know, having us, like, telling us what they want us to talk about or whatever, but what do we want to do about, like, actually having them actively participate? Like, for instance, if we have... Like, we were talking about having two groups, like me and Daystar or whatever, and Taco and Blunder, however we're going to do that. Um, do we want to say, like, you know, we make a thread maybe ahead of time, or in the thread of that episode, we say, all right, for the next one, like, if you want to be, like, a guest or whatever, you know, like, how do you, how do you guys um, think we could we're do, like, do how that? the... Yeah, I think, I think Spotlight does it. They have a they have the one thread, and then they just put people nominate, and then I don't know, random gen number generator, I guess. Yeah, I mean it could be cool. I mean, so um, you know, if we if we have guests, then you know, people we we sort of decide who. Well, I wouldn't say we decide, but say the community can decide who who they want to sort of be on the show, and then they could ask questions that have something to do with that person, or um, if they just want any general topic of conversation to be discussed with that person or just in general really yeah, yeah i imagine when we have guests especially the first time that they're on the show we want to like i guess focus the beginning of the show kind of towards like questions to them you know who are you what are you about blah 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 blah, blah. especially if by some freak you know coincidence or whatever that we end up getting somebody who actually matters not that, you know, the average forum poster doesn't matter. Hey, hey, hey. But uh, hey, they don't. So. Hey, puppy, you matter. Bro level. <laughs> I mean, you freaking I, I matter because... <laughs> you freaking I, I matter because I have a join date of before Whoa. 2012. <laughs> Old escapists. <laughs> and I have a post count above 10,000. So come at come me. Come on, guys. Let's not make this... Fucking come at me. Let's not segregate each other here. Shut up, you. When, when did you join? This year? What the, hey, hell, Mark, what the hell is it. that? <laughs> you're, you're a baby. <laughs> so does this does this podcast constitute as a just like a community circle jerk? Because I hope it does. Because it pisses people off when that happens. Yeah, I mean, yeah. How dare yeah. you have fun? Basically, you know, just fun <laughs> and circle jerking, as you say. Threads that, you know, about a certain topic of conversation that seems to be cropping up a lot in the forums, or it could just be just, you know, silly questions like what flavor of shoe do you enjoy licking or something like that. Ooh. The answer is cinnamon, by the way. Oh, too many questions already. So I got to say that Every episode that I'm a host on, um, the person needs to be aware of the fact that one of the questions will be what color is the underwear you're wearing it, and is it frilly? And that's really the important part. The vitalist of information. I'm collecting data on people. <laughs> it's just like, this is a census form of the escapist as, uh, the escapist's underwear. It's going to be a huge database. A huge database. I, I can make uh, guesses about what people wear right now, but I won't know for sure until I talk to them. You just, just, you just theorized. <laughs> Man, I, I honestly think I know some of them. I'm not lying. I'm not bullshitting. I'm pretty sure I know. Hey, wait a minute, you're not a couple psychic. of them at least. Yeah, you're not a taco either. What are you, Fappy? You're just a cat. What do cats do? Uh, cats wink. Yeah, and what's that going to do for you outside of a strip club? Uh, do I really need any other skills for any other situation? I don't know. Devious wink does can take a man a long way. He <laughs> can just get winking can go a long way. <laughs> My dog winks, but I don't think she does it on purpose. I think she just hasn't got synchronized blinking down yet. So one eye sort of blinks before the other. <laughs> well, that's usually a sign of intelligence. 
she's she's a strange animal. I mean, that, that was that was American sarcasm. <laughs> sometimes she shows brilliant sparks of 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 intelligence, so she'll sort of do something, and I think uh, she's a lot she's a lot smarter than she's leading on. And then other times she'll just walk into a door. Well, we have two dogs, and one of our dogs is um, a border collie mix, which apparently border collies are supposed to be pretty smart or something. I think they're um, yeah, they're supposed to be the so, smartest dogs. I think border collies. Yeah, he's pretty smart. And then we have this other dog that she's some kind of mutt. I don't know, but she is the stupidest animal I've ever seen in my life. She, um, <laughs> one time recently, we tried to get her up to take her out to go to the bathroom, and instead she rolled over onto her back and then peed on herself. Hey, I, I do that on weekends. <laughs> yeah, but that's by choice, because, I mean, you're you day star. You can do you. what you want. You live in filth. And she's like, fuck you, I do what I want. <laughs> yeah, I, she is the stupidest animal. I gotta tell you, cats are so much smarter than dogs. I said it. They're not, they're not, they're not like that. We're not, we're not, we're not getting into this. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't the time or place to talk about how much awesome <laughs> dogs are than cats. Cat versus dog thread. Let's, Make it happen. Let's do it. In this corner, Grump. In the other corner, not so Grump. <laughs> I promise if we make this an ongoing thing that I won't talk about cats all the time. But I may talk about cats all the time. We just have to have a shtick though. I think I know what you're hinting at there. Right, we, can, we, can, we can edit the... Uh, well, I won't, I'd say we can edit. I mean, Fizz can edit. Or, <laughs> or the daddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, this is this is all the works on Fizz at this point. I mean, she, well, she this, volunteered well, this for one, it. This, this is what it's going to be. It's going to be like, uh, it's like if any credit goes to anybody, it's going to go to Fizz simply because she's the only one actually doing stuff. We're just talking shit for hours. <laughs> <laughs> we do that for free. It's true. Like, I think the caveat is we should keep any R&P related questions the hell away. <laughs> no R&P allowed. Oh, hell yeah. So well, the thing is, I was gonna bring up was um, like we're gonna talk about games because they relate to the community, and I guess we'd probably want to try and stay away from forum specific stuff, with a few exceptions. Like I kind of want to do like a like a thread of the week type of thing, like one really like either fun or a fucked up thread that stood out from the week. Talk about it, but you know, try to avoid gossip as much as possible. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's yeah, exactly. So you know, this is it's not a, it's not a thing for complaining about other people or anything like that. It's just you know, topic of discussions, not you know, bad mouthing anyone else. But we will be math. Excerpt name here. We go. It's just like, not gonna be like JoJo is a fucking douche. I mean, yeah. Did you believe what he was talking about? That guy, man. Fuck that guy. I hear, I hear that guy. <laughs> he smokes kittens, and he cheats at the stock market and stuff. Oh God. What a monster. And then a sex on the corpuses. Fucking monster. I apologize for that. Probably shouldn't have come out. <laughs> Just, Wait, what did you say? Then say sex he apologized. <laughs> sex with corpuses. Uh, we're not in Morrowind now. <laughs> I love Morrowind. If you get me talking about Morrowind, that'll destroy the podcast, because that's all it'll be about. Shut up. We're not talking about Morrowind. <laughs> what was that about Morrowind? I said... So there's this one time that I... F <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm not going to do that to you. So yeah, you know, just you know, we, we, we'll start a thread for every for every cast we do, well, a preemptive thread, and just, you know, ask ask everyone what they want to talk, what they wanted to hear us talk about, or if they have any questions or uh, opinions about games or anyth anything, really. Anything. Nipple-related or otherwise. Yeah, I kind of think, like, we want to do it where we make a thread, and on the first post, like... We've already recorded and finished editing the actual podcast for that week. So we post it in the thread, and we say, you know, like, you know, any comments, blah, 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 blah. And there's, like, a second part to the OP that says, you know, for the next episode, like, these are the people hosting or whatever. Do you, you know, volunteers or whoever wants to be guests, any questions, blah, 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 blah. So they can submit questions for the next episode in the thread for the you know, the current episode. So basically, we want the viewers to yeah, tell us what to cool. talk about. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I'm not... <laughs> I have to apologize ahead of time, because it, it's... <laughs> it's going to get derailed, isn't it? <laughs> well, I mean, like, this one is... Like, this is just a test anyway, and we're... We, we have very loose guidelines. It was just, like, two talking points, and that it. that's it, but... Yeah. 
it probably will be derailed anyway, but I assume we'll probably want to set up more of a, like, I guess, structured yeah. flow to it. Yeah, exactly. And whoever is, like, the main host of the episode can keep track of the time and make sure that, you know, we don't run out of time and we're keeping on track as much as possible. But derailing is fucking, that's you, so... Like, if Daystar is on a podcast and isn't derailing it, then there's something fucking wrong. And it isn't him. <laughs> I'm not saying it was Daystar, but it was Daystar. <laughs> Don't try your logic on me. So many lives lost. What was Don't that? Don't use your logic on me. Come on. This is being a dick. Oh, I know. When did logic ever work on anybody? Never. Uh... I can't think of a single time. Yeah, I get I get the feeling we should mention the fail cast as well, since that's sort of like an, an accompaniment to it. I imagine that's just basically whoever's on the fail cast, it's not really any specific topic, it's just basically talking crap for an hour, I think. That's why it's called the fail cast. Yeah. I think, yeah, they're pretty... I mean, we're doing this for fun also, I think that also, was just but... a test run. Yeah, they'll be, they'll be more structured to this one in terms of, you know, community interaction and the yeah, actual structure and there's, you know, topics and things like that, while the Failcast is just, just just talking nonsense, pretty much. I think this is a good way of describing it, I mean, very simply. This podcast will be the Kosher podcast. So basically their other podcast will be ADD in audio form. <laughs> And we'll be the more classy, regal people. Okay, I can deal with that. I can dig it. Yeah, pretty much. This is the. Uh, For the most part. This, I mean, this, as classy as we are. This is the uh, the the world friendly, ethnic, well, di- nationality diverse podcast since it's pretty much just just all UK guys and the other one. I am so ethnic. How how can you not tell? Well, I said from Matt, but like we said in the other one, it's just he's not really Irish. He's just <laughs> he's the he's the diet coke of Irish. Oh god. I totally, I totally stole that from Hazy. Well, That's gonna be my thing now. I'm just gonna steal <laughs> everyone's jokes. <laughs> we definitely want to mix up accents as much as possible because you know, having too many of the same accent is gonna be not as interesting for like people who are from that area, I guess. I don't know. I think it's better when you've got like an American and a British person and like a I don't know, fucking Eskimo or something. How, how the hell do Eskimos sound? I don't even know. They sound like... I think it's they're just cold, really. They don't talk much. Like they have snow in their mouth. <laughs> they're just like... It's, it's fucking cold. <laughs> Makes sense. Seems legit. <laughs> Seems legit, yeah. I love that phrase. That's <laughs> so why are we talking about accents now. That's just wrong, man. What the hell did you do that for? Oh, God. You know, the... F- the funny thing about a southern accent is there's so many different... I mean, there's so many different versions of every accent, but non-Americans, like... I don't know if you guys can tell the difference between the southern accents. A lot of Americans can. Yeah, I mean, we, I, I definitely I definitely can tell the difference between the southern... I mean, my favorite ones are um, a Scooter and Ellie from Borderlands 2. <laughs> just fucking hilarious. I just like... Uh, one of my favorite... Yeah, th- the... Yeah, I think that's more like a Texas girl. Yeah, so I just the uh, yeah, <laughs> just when she was um, it was that mission where you had to click. Does he say like reckon and tarnation or something? No, it's just like uh, uh <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, I, just, I, I, I don't want to do it because I don't want to just do a really shit impression of it. It's just a bunch of just. I think it's just nothing more than just fast rambling about nothing. Yeah. Is that you'll never take me alive, you robot some bitch? His sister. I forgot what his sister. Oh, Ellie, Ellie and Scooter. Because oh yeah, he says some bitch. Some bitch. A lot. <laughs> catch so, a ride. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like. That. Oh, and catch a ride. Yeah. I love how uh, when when they dub uh, anime or Japanese games, how they like they'll use totally fucked up accents for no reason for characters like Joey from Yu Gi Oh, and he had like that super thick Brooklyn accent. <laughs> yeah, it was like well, Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn, Brooklyn Power or some shit. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I don't know the that. phrase. I think it was from the and, uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Rage. rage. <laughs> if you if you've ever uh, if you've ever have you ever seen the abridged uh, Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, the, he calls it. Brooklyn yeah, I've rage. seen the, um, I've seen some bits from it. I mean, I, I've seen all the the, uh, the the Dragon Ball Z abridged stuff, and I think the voice actors sort of this this, oh, yeah. this show up in that as well. I think, but yeah, and I, I know what the reference is to. But yeah, it's just, I think that's the best way to watch the show actually. <laughs> I'd watch the abridged. Oh, yeah, episode. I'd, I'd watch the abridged episode all day. I think. Yeah, the um, oh, what was it? A really good abridged uh, cartoon, or a really good abridged show is uh, the. I think it's a couple team, uh, T 
Team Four Star guys, they do uh, Hellsing. And that one's pretty hilarious. The original Hellsing? Because that, like, the Yeah, end, the original even... Hellsing. I think it's, uh... I have to go. I'll, uh... uh got stuff to do, like League, and Killing Orphans, and Burning Buildings. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, we could, oh, we yeah, we, we, yeah, we should, we'll, anyway. we'll, we'll, oh, we should probably end Yeah, we'll then. wrap it up. So, I mean, um, right, I'm trying to think of what we can say. Uh, Love long and prosper. <laughs> Fappy is the best. <laughs> well, you know, we basically just say, um, uh, 